Hi, I'm Pedro da Costa, Editorial Fellow here at the Peterson Institute for International Economics, and I'm joined by Nicholas Lardy, Senior Fellow here, to talk about the big news of the day, which is uh, the IMF's inclusion of China in its uh, special drawing rights facility. Can you talk to us about how big a deal this is? Well, I think it's very important for the Chinese. Uh, they've staked a great deal on this. Uh, they've undertaken a lot of reforms to come into compliance with uh, IMF expectations. Um, so I, th I think it's quite important for them. Uh, certainly from a geopolitical point of view, it's quite important. I don't think it's going to have a big effect on anybody's economy in the short run. Okay. And what about as far as China's ability to make the renminbi a more international currency? Does it have does it raise its profile in that sense? Does it help China's cause in, in that direction? It, and and yes. what time frame are we talking about? It does raise its profile. I would say it's kind of like the good housekeeping seal of approval. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't mean that other central banks are going to buy RMB assets, but they'll probably look more closely at, at uh, the opportunity to do so. And I would think over a period of years and decades, the use of RMB denominated financial assets in the holdings of central banks would increase. Mm -hmm. But in the short run, uh, I think central banks are very conservative organizations. Only a handful of them change their mix of reserves to be in accordance with the SDR basket. Uh -huh. For most of them, the vast majority, it's, it's entirely discretionary. Yeah. And what about the flip side? Is there any chance that uh, the IMF seal of approval puts more pressure on Chinese policymakers to either toe the line on reforms or to stick to them in any way? Or does it, is it neutral in that sense? I think it's slightly positive. I think it, it sets a series of expectations about the way the, the way the market will operate and the transparency and the ability of foreign central banks and other major international financial institutions to participate in the market, both the onshore bond market and the onshore foreign exchange market, which is two very important reforms mm. that uh, were initiated in order to meet the operational requirements of the IMF. Now, can you talk about a little bit about the politics surrounding uh, the this accession by you know, by China? Uh, there was a Chinese devaluation of the currency in August that some folks saw as as them not necessarily playing by the global rules. Uh, the IMF seemed to have a different interpretation, and it saw actually it as making the yuan a little bit more flexible. What were the politics surrounding this, and and how did they play out? Well, that move in August, on August 11th, followed by only a week or two after the issuance of the of the big report on the change or potential change in the in the basket. And one of the things that that report said was that the exchange rate of the RMB needed to be more market determined. And the reform that they announced on August 11th was intended to accomplish that. I don't think it did in its entirety, but I think it was a step in the right direction. So I think it was definitely seen by the central bank as a move that would put them more into compliance with IMF expectations. Okay. And do you expect any further devaluations in the near term? Very difficult to say. Uh, their currency has appreciated a lot uh, over the last year in particular because it's gone up along with the dollar since it's basically pegged to the dollar very closely. Uh, that has hurt their competitiveness in international markets. Their export growth is very weak. So a lot of people think they're going to try to unwind part of this uh, as we move through uh, 2016. On the other hand, their, their current account surplus is actually expanding, is very large, which would tend to mean that you wouldn't expect uh, a depreciation of the currency. So I think it's anyone's guess exactly how it'll turn out. Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate Good. it. Thank you.